So you want to create a tortilla, but you don't have a tort and you don't have a tia. Well, that's unfortunate. Next time you have a daughter, make sure you name her Tia. And you're well on your way. Hey guys, I'm Matthew. Welcome back to you know the channel. Um, today we're back once again, taking a look at how to do this kind of cool thing. You can see here if I was to go ahead and slide this little slider, it would just vanish into thin air, vanish, which is which is pretty cool. So that's um that's something. It's essentially transparency and, and that's 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 pretty neat so um what i want to do is i want to really quickly break down because it's so simple of a node setup here as you can see so we have a um principal bsdf which is it comes with it but just shift a so hit shift a and then search for a principal search for a principal there you go bsdf boom right there and then we have this the bsdf going into one of the outputs for the shader and i'm going to go ahead and put this in the shader a uh, mix shader node so hit shift a and search for a mix shader like that boom um and then we're gonna look for a holdout shader which is shift a search holdout boom right there i just stretch this bad boy out like that um and then i put that into the second input for the shader now this is where the cool part happens this is where the the the, the, the getting down and dirty part uh you, you feel lucky punk kind of stuff goes on right here so um if we go ahead and search for a shift a search color ramp oh color ramp there we go you can see it pulls this bad boy up, which is what we need. So it pulls this up. And now what we're going to do here is it's going to start off like um, where this black color is like solid. It's not going to be transparent. So what I did was I changed this from linear to constant, first of all. And then I made it so that this black color, if you click on it, I, I turned the alpha all the way all the way down. It was on one. I put it all the way to zero. So now you can see it looks like this when we have the black on the left and the, the white on the right. And the black is 0% uh, alpha, which means it's completely transparent. Um, and then if we have this on constant, like I said, when we drag this white color, it'll do something like this. It'll just kind of like pop away, right? But that's not really what we want. So the way to fix this is after you put this, the color into the factor of the mix shader and the mix shader into the material output, obviously. Um, if you search for a shift A search noise, what it'll do is we can go ahead and plug the color into the uh, color ramp. And that, then once we do that, you can see that when we drag this slider, it'll do that, which is really cool. So it's using the noise texture um, and applying the holdout and the transparent black sections, the, the black parts of this color ramp to the principal BSDF shader. And it's making all of this node lose some of its color and some of its transparency in some places until you go 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 until it's all gone which is really cool and the cool thing uh, the even better that, that even better thing about this is you, you can change the roughness right you can change the distortion you can change the detail you know you can change the scale itself and you can have something that looks really really cool so you can have like essentially you can use this over top of any material that you have you can just mix it together with any material you already have and you can make a, 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 some kind of like dirt map so if I was to change this to like a black color, you can see that if I turn the specular down um, and the roughness all the way up, um, you can see that essentially you can add more or less dirt or scrape or scratches to anything, any material you already have, um, which is really, really cool. So you can use this as like transitions, you know, you can use this as, as some kind of dirt map. That was really cool. Wait, let me do something like that again. Let's turn the scale up maybe a little bit, the distortion back down. All right, but yeah, you can use this as a cool transition, like to go, oh, whoa, look, it's gone now. And you can also use it, like I said, if you turn the detail up for some kind of really, really cool, like dirt map kind of thing, which just looks really, really cool and really, really sweet. I just really enjoy this quite a bit. And I hope you ladies and gentlemen do as well. But yes, I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.